Blizzard has just announced their next PTR server with the next supposed changes coming to Overwatch. Now, because it was just announced that the PTR is live, we can't say that these changes will actually make it into the game, but let's assume they are. Here are the changes coming to the next Overwatch patch. First off, it looks like Junkrat's tire is getting an execution buff. It will actually activate quicker. This is what the developers had to say, quote, Junkrat can be an extremely effective hero in the right hands, but Rip Tire often felt underpowered when compared to his counterparts. Sounds pretty good, I'm looking forward to this one. Next up is Widowmaker. She's actually getting a very slight change, but may actually help her get back into the meta. Her scope animation is getting reduced from 0.5 seconds to 0.3 seconds. According to the developers, quote, this change will help Widowmaker acquire new targets more quickly and speed up her reaction time in fast-paced situations. Will this be enough to bring Widowmaker back into the meta? We'll see. And lastly, Ana's Nano Boost is getting a charge nerf. It's being reduced by 20%. On the other hand, her Biotic Grenade is getting a range increase from 3 meters to 4 meters, which is huge! I feel this grenade is underappreciated greatly on how effective it is. Everyone knows it applies an instant 100 health, but they underestimate the second effect it has, which is increased healing from any source by 100% for 5 seconds. That means Zenyatta's 32 second harmony orb now becomes a 64 second health per second orb. Lucio's base healing of 12.5 per second now becomes 25 per second. And with Amp It Up it becomes 80 health per second. And that's not including Ana's 150 health per shot with the grenade's effects. Super excited for this buff. So this is what the developers had to say. So far, we haven't seen any indication that Ana is too strong overall, but her ultimate charge is a little too fast, especially considering the impact it can have on a match. Also, her biotic grenades are getting a small boost to help her hit multiple targets. Now I know I already said lastly, but there is one more thing that I need to mention. As a console player, I'm pretty interested in this last change coming specifically to controller users. Controller users can now choose between two aiming modes. The default is exponential ramp mode. As the thumbstick moves towards the outside of its range, the sensitivity is ramped up exponentially. The acceleration remains relatively high throughout. The new default is called dual zone mode. The vast majority of the thumbstick's range moves with reduced sensitivity and relatively high acceleration. However, when the thumbstick crosses to the outer 10% of its range, it will move with high sensitivity and relatively low acceleration. This mode will allow for more precise aiming, while still allowing players to turn around quickly. So this sounds really cool and I'm definitely ready to try anything new that will increase the accuracy of controllers. Well that's it for today guys. Be sure to follow me on Twitch, I usually stream in the mornings and sometimes evenings. Just check off that notification button so you'll know. Link is in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.